During winter months, the cold outdoors can be transformed into a snow-covered playground. But even winter's favorite pastimes can be dangerous. NCTV 17's Jenny Barger takes us outside with some helpful tips. It's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. Well, that's a saying that hits home. Last year, doctors report almost 530,000 Americans suffered from a winter sports injury. A lot of it is, you know, bumps and bruises and scrapes. Um, some of the more significant injuries that we see are head injuries. When strapping on the skates, Park District officials want you to stay on the three designated rinks to avoid serious accidents. Don't skate on any of our ponds or rivers because they're just not safe ice. There may be 10 or 12 inches in one spot and it may be thin ice in another. There's nothing like a trip down a hill of fresh white snow. But some people start out here and end up in the ER. Seen a few kids with broken noses, broken teeth from crashing into things. We actually had one child who actually lacerated her liver also as a result of hitting a tree. To avoid serious injury, stick to the monitored Park District hills and use some common sense. Once you get down to the bottom of the hill, look up the hill because uh, people who are coming at you really have a difficult time steering. And then walk up the hill on the sides, not straight up the middle. Doctors say parents need to pay attention too. Kids tend to forget they're cold when they're having so much fun, so bundle them up. The ears, the nose, uh, the face in general, and the fingers and the toes, really important. Those are the areas that are most susceptible to frostbite and similar cold-related injury. If you remember some of this and mom's advice, you really can have fun and no one gets hurt. I'm Jenny Barger for Naperville News 17.